Okay, so we're here to practice the visualizing method of no formula quotient rule. And this is kind of useful if you're a visual person and you don't really like remembering formulas. So first one, let's get into it. To start by drawing our grid and we remind ourselves that it's u over v. u is equal to x plus 5 to the power of 4. And if you haven't already seen my video previous to this on how to do the chain rule, then I think you're going to need to see that one first. We're about to do it in our head. So we do this in our head because it's fairly easy. Look, if you look at what's on the inside here, we're going to find the derivative of that. That's going to go out the front. We'll just write it down. It's out of the way now. I'm just going to leave it. Now we treat the brackets as if they're one single variable to the power of four. That means that four is going to come down the front and we're going to have that bracket again to the power of one less, which is three. So in our total, we're going to have a four x plus five to the three and v dashed is equal to. Now, this is first bottom left to top right. However you want to do it, we were also going to say maybe it's something like this. You know, and we do the dots first. Is however you're going to remember it, you need a swiping pattern that works for you, right? So for me, it's always been this. I just remember it now as like a compass thing. Uh, it tells me which way to do it. So I'm going to start with the multiplication across here. So that's, I'd be very, very careful in space. So that's going to be 4x minus 3x plus 5 to the 3. Subtract x plus 5 to the 4 all over v squared. You can definitely simplify this, the x plus 5s. And in fact, maybe I'll just do that once just to see that work out. The only thing they have in common is x plus 5. And I've just seen that that x minus 3 is actually meant to be squared. I don't think there's any more factors to be had there. All right, now you're picking up speed with it. Let's have a go at the next one. See how far you can get or if you can finish before I get there. And you know I go a little bit slower. I don't need to remind myself of U and V because I've already done it up there. Not true. That's how I set up a good habit. I keep doing it every single time so that when it comes to the exam, I'm not even thinking about it. Try and get into that discipline because it is a discipline. You have to battle that idea. Oh, what's the point? Can't be bothered. How are we doing with this? We've done our derivatives. Nice easy one, this one. We do this one first. dy by dx is equal to x squared e to the x. Badum. Subtract and all over x squared squared, which is x to the 4. Take an x out, and we can take an e to the x out, and then on the bottom, that x4 is going to cancel, and that's our final answer. And let's go. See if you can beat me again on this one. Okay, u dash, what's going to be? That's right, v dashed 3x squared. And by the way, what we haven't done here is call it quotient rule. Rather than write quotient, I could just write q at the top. That's what I'm thinking. This is interesting. x cubed times 1 over x is going to end up with being x squared. I'm just going to jump the gun there and, and write that. And then we're going to subtract uh, these two multiplied. Nothing fancy happening there. Just 3x squared, Linux all over v squared. Golly. Definitely some simplifying to be done here. And we will try our best. x squared comes out all over x to the power 6, which clearly that's going to cancel out. Something like that. And and that's as good as we can get it. And I think we've got enough space for the last one. I forgot something, didn't I? Did you notice? U over V. V dashed. Didn't like that. Equals cosine. We're going positive. Staying positive. Always stay positive, guys, okay? Method. We are doing the quotient rule that we're going to do. Sine x subtract x cos x. Did you get the same? You're steaming along, aren't you? I could tell. Now, how do you deal with sine x? You just put a little squared there. If you want to click on the uh, video that you can see here, that'll take you to the next method in our set of using visualizations that is non-formula based. Yeah, so the next one we're going to be looking at is the integration with the reverse of the chain rule. Check out my Instagram for even more regular content. And don't forget, if you want to support this channel, the best way to do it is to head on over to Patreon, where you can subscribe for a monthly cost and also get some fun gifts too.